I was at home on my ranch and I was out doing work and somebody said, till you can't went number one. And I'm like, really? Well, that's cool. And I went back to work and then when, <laughs> when I came back out on the road, it really sunk in like, oh, we got a number one here. Hey y'all, I'm Cody Johnson. And this is the hit story of my song, Till You Can't. My life was changed by Till You Can't because I started realizing it's not till they can. It's not till your mom passes away. It's not till your grandpa leaves this world. It's not till your friend does something. It's till you, you till you can. You have to do the things while you're here. You have to take the time to go chase your dreams, take those chances, tell somebody you love them, drop your pride, apologize, do all those normal human things. When I got Till You Can't pitched to me, um, it was for my record, Human. There was definitely a spark about this song, and I knew that I had to record it because of what it said and the way that I felt about it. I knew there was something special there. Ben Stennis, Matt Rogers, thank you guys for writing good, authentic, real country music that says something to change people's lives. I hope you guys know how much you've changed people's lives, and I'm very thankful that I got to be the guy to sing this song. The day I recorded Till You Can't, I'm somewhat of a, uh, an anomaly when it comes to vocals. I don't like to split up my vocal recording. I like to go in, get in a groove, and keep on rocking. Give it two or three passes, go to the next song. Once I get in a groove, it's, it just gets to be more fun, less work. If you got a chance, take it. Take it while you got a chance. I think my favorite lyric in the song is if you've got a chance, take it. Try to. Find that thing that defines your life, and you're not gonna find that unless you're taking that chance. People that don't take chances live pretty uh, unsatisfying lives, I would say. It's just too safe. Yeah. Take you. I hit the last note, the big yeah, and I thought, why in the world did I do that? Because now I'm gonna have to do that every night. Dustin Mahaney, this was the first time that he and I had ever worked together on a music video. And much like when I'm recording a record, I don't want people to kind of get in the way of my creativity. I really didn't want to get in the way of Dustin's creativity. I literally just showed up, I sang my couple of parts, and I left. I wanted to watch it, the end product as someone who loves music videos. And uh, I cried when I watched it. It was very, very poetic. It really painted the picture of Till You Can't. This was my first number one. I've had gold records, I've had platinum records, but I'd never had a multi-week number one on the Billboard charts. And it's the most incredible thing I've ever performed on stage. We had to finally move it to the very end of the set because it just, once you play that, there's nothing really else uh, that you can play that tops it. It's deafening. And most nights I pull both of my earpieces out and just listen to the crowd because you can see the lyrics just pouring out of people and you the noise is incredible. My life personally was changed by this song and I hope yours is too.